support me really well in something bad, they would try to fix it right away. She's my second child, so she's kind of always been my toughest in a way. You know, she still has those little qualities that make her a little kid, but she's, you know, she's just, she's mature and she's awesome. Hillary was pregnant and we were close to giving birth to Reese, our fourth girl. During that time, Gwen was just really tired. No energy, and so we were like, okay, you know, what, what's going on? And then she spiked a fever. We just knew something was off and her fever had gone away and then it came back. So when I called one of the nurses at Loyola, she's like, let's bring her in and get her blood tested. And I'm so grateful that they just were proactive enough. And then they called and said, you know, they, we found some leukemia cells. It was um, a really, really sad night, and it was just so sad seeing her. I was like scared and confused at the same time. And Reese was just born, so it was kind of hard for my mom to like take care of everybody. You don't ever think bad things are gonna happen. You just have to keep going for your kids. You have to be strong for them and show them that they're going to be okay. Gwen has BALL, which is acute lymphoblastic leukemia. The treatment for leukemia is chemotherapy, and the course usually runs about two and a half years. That first week when Gwen was diagnosed, Dr. Sue came in, I'll never forget it, he said, you're going to beat this. This is, you know, something that we can cure and we have a great handle on it. They were just so Comforting. I just, I don't know, I can't explain how after every time they would come in the room and talk to us, we would, I'd feel instantly better. I felt better as she was getting better, and I'm just glad that she's okay. Gwen is doing great. She looks just so, so happy and so healthy now, and it, that's all we could ever Ooh. ask for. We knew we were going to get great treatment here. It was not even really a question for us to, to go anywhere else. She takes her daily chemo medication and then we go in monthly um, just to get her numbers checked, which have been pretty great. The community, it's overwhelming how much support we got. I remember St. Baldrick's, you know, we know some teachers that organized this event at, the, at her school. It helps to raise money. And then I find out the date and it's March 23rd, which is, was Gwen's eighth birthday. She was very excited. She wanted to shave my head and I think she loved every second of it. And truly, like, the silver lining in this experience for all of us is that we just appreciate the good things in life and what really matters. Thank you, doctors and nurses. And I just hope that even though she was young when this happened to her, that she kind of carries this lesson with her.